Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today you're going to work on the vocabulary words and pictures for Second Grade Journeys Lesson 23. And our anchor text is The Goat in the Rug, as told to Charles L. Blood and Martin Link. And it's also supposed to be by Geraldine the Goat, illustrated by Nancy Winslow Parker. So for this lesson, you're going to turn and talk. That means I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to think about your answer. You're going to pair up with a partner at home, or you can be my virtual partner. And then you're going to share out your thinking in a complete sentence or sentences. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper or journal page. And you're going to divide the paper into three equal parts, one, two, three, or thirds. And then you're going to write your numbers one to eight. And for each number, you're going to write a vocabulary word. And then in the second column, you're going to write the synonym for that word. And a synonym means the wor a word that means the same, just like combine is a synonym for mix. Mix and combine mean the same things. If you don't catch the synonym, you can always write the word a second time. And in the third column, I want you to draw a quick picture or sketch to help you remember the word. So here's our first learning target. I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the story, The Goat in the Rug. Here's our second learning target. I can talk about the vocabulary words and pictures. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at using pictures and context clues to understand the important words from the story? And how will you know you're successful about talking about the vocabulary words and pictures? Well, here are your steps to success. I will, number one, look closely at each group of pictures. Number two, I will say what I notice about the pictures. How are they the same or similar? Number three, I will read each word and its definition. Four, I will write each word one to two times, a synonym, and then draw a quick picture or sketch. So if you have a partner at home, here's our turn and talk rules. Number one, eye to eye, knee to knee, you're facing the speak. The, your partner and when you're talking to each other. Number two, first one person talks, the other person listens. Three, then the next person talks, the other person listens. But don't talk too long on your turn or your partner will not have time to have a turn. These are the two questions I'm going to ask for each pair of, for a group of pictures. What do you notice or see? And you're going to say, I notice or I see and tell me what you notice. And then I'm going to ask, how are they all the same or similar? And you're going to say, they all, and tell me how they're all the same or similar. You may agree with me and say, I agree with you, Mrs. Pearson, because, and tell me why. Or you may disagree with me or your partner and say, I disagree with you because, and tell me or your partner why. So here's our first group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice two balls of yarn. In the second picture, I notice a sheep knitting with yarn. In the third picture, I notice different types of yarn, either on a spool or in a ball or twisted up. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all? Well, they all show yarn. So the, your first word is yarn, yarn, Y-A-R-N, yarn, yarn. What, what is yarn? Yarn is spun thread and thread used for knitting. Yarn is spun thread and thread used for knitting. So a synonym is thread. So spun thread, thread used for knitting, another word for yarn or a synonym for yarn is thread. People use yarn to knit sweaters, hats, and mittens. 
People use yarn to knit sweaters, hats, and mittens. So you could also say people use thread to knit sweaters, hats, and mittens. Think about it. What is yarn used for other than clothing? What is yarn used for other than clothing? You could also say what is thread used for other than clothing? So make sure you have yarn, a synonym could be thread in your second column. Next group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a bunch of uh, strings or looks almost like DNA. In the next picture, I notice uh, small fibers. And in the third picture, I notice a rope that's spun with small thread. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all Well, they all show strands, strands of thread or strings, strands, S-T-R-A-N-D-S, strands, strands. What are strands? Thin pieces of thread, thin, thin pieces of string. Strands are thin pieces of thread, thin pieces of string. So a synonym or a word that means the same is strings. Strands and strings are similar. The strands of yarn are tied into knots at the bottom of the rug. The strands of yarn are tied into knots at the bottom of the rug. You could also say the strings of yarn are tied into knots at the bottom of the rug. Think about it. What do you think strands of gold thread may be used for? What do you think strands of gold thread may be used for? You could also say, what do you think strings of gold thread may be used for? So make sure you have the word strands written. And a synonym could be strings. Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a person is, looks like they might be spinning yarn. In the next picture, I notice a fidget spinner. And in the third picture, I notice a wheel with thread or yarn on it. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all Well, they all show spinning, spinning. S P I N N I N G. The root word is spin, comes from the verb to spin, spinning, and you double the n to keep the i short. S-P-I-N-N-I-N-G. What is spinning? Spinning is twisting pieces to make yarn or turning fibers to make string. Twisting pieces to make yarn, turning fibers to make string. So a synonym could be twisting. It takes a lot of practice. Spinning chunks of wool into thin yarn. It takes a lot of practice spinning chunks of wool into thin yarn. You could also say it takes a lot of practice twisting chunks of wool into thin yarn. Think about it. When people are spinning wool, they are turning strands around and around to make them into yarn. Would you like to try spinning? Why or why not? So you could say when people are turning wool, they are turning strands around and around to make them into yarn. Would you like to try turning or twisting? Twisting and turning, I guess, is a synonym for spinning. 
you can either twist or turn. Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice a big black ink blot. In the second picture, I notice a bunch of colors on a palette for painting. In the third picture, it looks like an ink container that's blue. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all well, they all show dye. D Y E dye. Dye. D Y E. What is dye? It's liquid color or pigment, liquid used to make color. And it's kind of like ink or paint. So liquid color of pigment or pigment, liquid used to make color. So a synonym or a word that means the same for dye is liquid pigment or liquid color. These shirts are soaked in dye to make them colorful. These shirts are soaked in dye to make them colorful. You could also say, these shirts are soaked in liquid pigment or color to make them colorful. Think about it. Dye can be made from plants. What color of dye might come from acorns? What color of dye might come from the plant called goldenrod? So you could also say liquid color can be made from plants. Or what color of liquid pigment might come from acorns? So make sure you have dye and the synonym is liquid pigment or liquid color. Next group of pictures, what do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice the different stages of weaving from like the yarn to putting it on a loom. In the second picture, I notice crisscross looks like a, a basket weave pattern. And in the next picture, I notice a woman is weaving what looks to be a tapestry or a rug. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all? Well, they all show weave, W-E-A-V-E, -E. weave, W-E-A-V-E, -E. weave. What does weave mean? To make by crisscrossing materials or braiding materials together. Weave, to make by crisscrossing materials, braiding materials together. So a synonym could be crisscross, or you could say braiding, could also be a synonym. This woman will weave dried grasses into baskets. This woman will weave dried grasses into baskets. You could also say, this woman will crisscross dry, dried grasses into bas baskets or will braid dried grasses into ba baskets. Think about it. How might people weave cloth with a pattern? How might people weave cloth with a pattern? Or how might people crisscross cloth with a pattern or braid cloth with a pattern? So make sure you have weave and the synonym is crisscross or even braid. Next group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice someone's sharpening a knife with a tool. 
In the next picture, I notice a pencil is getting sharpened with a sharpener. It goes from not having a pointed tip to getting sharpened and having a pointed tip so you could write with the pencil. In the next picture, it looks like someone is sharpening or grinding an axe. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all Well, they all show, show sharpening. Sharpening, the root word is sharp. It comes from the verb to sharp. Sharpening, sharpening, or you could say sharpen could be the root word. S-H-A-R-P-E-N, sharpen, I-N-G. So the root word of sharpen is sharp, and the root word of sharpening is sharpen. So. We've got sharpening. What does sharpening mean? Making the edge like a razor, grinding down to make sharp. Making the edge like a razor, grinding down to make sharp. Sharpening. So a synonym could be grinding. So I think the woman is grinding the axe to make it sharp on that, using that tool. The pencil does not need sharpening anymore or grinding anymore. Think about it. Why do some things need sharpening now and then? So you need to sharpen your pencil every once in a while and people need to sharpen knives every once in a while. Why? Well, so make sure you have sharpening, S-H-A-R-P-E-N-I-N-G. And the synonym for sharpening could be grinding. Next group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice uh, it looks like two pieces of paper, and maybe they're the same. In the next picture, I notice, again, uh, it looks like two pieces of paper that might be copied. And in the third picture, I notice three um, pieces of paper that might be the same or duplicated. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all... Well, they all show duplicated. So duplicated, the root word is duplicate, duplicate, duplicated, D-U-P-L-I-C-A-T-E-D, -E duplicated. What does duplicated mean or to duplicate something? It means copied, made an exact copy. So duplicated means copied or made an exact copy. So a synonym or word that means the same is copied. Duplicated is similar to copied. Some colors on this rug are duplicated. They appear again and again. So that's really what duplicated means, appearing again and again, copied. Some colors on this rug are copied. They appear again and again. So a synonym, oh wait, think about it. What have you received in school that was duplicated? What have you received in school that was duplicated or copied? Did you ever get worksheets that were duplicated on the copy machine? So duplicated and copied. Here's our last group of pictures. What do you notice or see? I notice or I see. Well, in the first picture, I notice someone's eating looks like ice cream or some sort of dessert and it looks really good. In the next picture, I notice uh, 
uh, an emoji. Looks like that they're ready to eat something that looks really yummy or delicious. And in the third picture, it looks the same. The person is happy because something tasted good. So how are these pictures the same or similar? They all They all show delicious, 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 D-E-L-I-C-I-O-U-S, delicious, delicious. Delicious means good flavor or, or great flavor, tasty. Delicious means great flavor, tasty, delicious. So a synonym or word that means the same for delicious is tasty. Delicious and tasty are similar. The baker makes delicious case, cakes. They are very tasty. The baker makes delicious cakes. They are very tasty. You could also say this baker. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't the baker. It's this baker makes delicious or makes tasty cakes. They are very tasty or have great flavor. This baker makes delicious cakes. They are very tasty. Think about it. What food do you think tastes delicious or tastes tasty or has great flavor? So let's check your work. Number one, yarn. Yarn is spun thread, thread used for knitting. And if you noticed, I highlighted the word thread because it's a synonym for yarn. Number two, strands, thin pieces of thread or thin pieces of string, strands. And I highlighted the synonym string, strings or strands are the same thing. Number three, spinning twisting pieces to make yarn or turning fibers to make string. And I highlighted twisting and turning. They are synonyms for spinning. Number four, dye, liquid color or pigment, liquid used to make color. And again, I highlighted the words liquid and pigment because they are sim similar or synonyms for dye. So this is a good time to push pause. Make sure you have all four words, including the highlighted synonyms, and then you can draw a quick picture or sketch for each. So you can push pause, finish your work for numbers one through four, and when you're done, push play. Number five, weave to make by crisscrossing materials or braiding materials together. Weave, and again, I highlighted crisscross, or another synonym could be braiding or braid. And number six, sharpening, making the edge like a razor, grinding down to make sharp, sharpening. And again, a synonym could be grinding. Number seven, duplicated. Duplicated means copied, made an exact copy. And I highlighted the synonym copied. And eight is delicious, great flavor or tasty, delicious. And I highlighted the synonym tasty. Again, if you need to finish writing the words or the synonyms or drawing the quick picture or sketch, this is a good time. Let's pause, make sure you have all the words five, six, seven, and eight, including the synonyms for each and a quick picture or sketch. After you're done, push play. All right, at the top of your paper, I want you to write your reflection. How well did you hit our learning target for this lesson? I can use pictures and context clues to help me understand important words from the story, the goat in the rug. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I easily said what I noticed about each group of pictures and how they were the same. 
Or would you give yourself a three? I was able to say what I noticed about most of the pictures and how they were the same. Or would you give yourself a two? I was able to say what I noticed about some of the pictures and how they were the same. Or would you give yourself a one? I was not able to say what I noticed about any of the pictures or how they were the same. So I want you to reflect and put four, three, two, or one. Thank you, everyone, for going over the vocabulary words and pictures with me. Have a great day.